Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following me you know that I have now sold my house and I am now on stage two of my process of selling up to go traveling full time. This is my retirement plan. <clears throat> so now the house is sold we are into the stage of having the contracts prepared. Now they're telling me it's going to take 12 to 16 weeks, but I'm at work, well, me and the buyer are both hoping it'll be a little bit faster than that, given that she's a cash buyer and I'm not going anywhere. So uh, it's all a bit systems go now to get this house cleared. Now I've been doing little bits for the past sort of four or five weeks, and if you've been following me, you'll know what I've been up to. But I'm going to give you an update on how far I've got. Um, also, how much I've made um, from selling my, my bits and bobs and what I'm going to keep doing until I get this house emptied. So let me show you around a little bit. You can see I've not just been sat here doing nothing. I've uh, got the garage a lot clearer than it was and it was a lot clearer th until this morning when I had to throw a lot of boxes in there. So I could fit some empty boxes in my car that I can now carry on with my packing. I had boxes for packing, but they were too small to get everything in. They got some things in, but like some of my ornaments aren't tall enough. So I had to go and get some boxes from um, a local warehouse. It's better for them because otherwise they've got to crush them down and pay for, to get rid of them. Whereas I just take them for free. They were very kind as well. They gave me some packaging as well. So, look, so you've got to agree the garage is a lot clearer than it was. And um, a lot of my pictures have come down off the wall. So I have packed up most of my photographs now. And it's just the main pictures to do. And there are spaces around because I have been packing up some of the ornaments that I want to keep. So I've, I've been through with my family anything that they want to keep. So uh, my sister-in-law wanted the Doc Martin boots. <laughs> uh, my son is taking the two double beds, a lot of my pictures and some garden furniture and then some bits and bobs. Although I still have a lot of things of his here as well that will get packed up and go to him. And then my brother wants all the alcohol. I have a lot of alcohol. I collect it when I go on trips. I always like to buy a bottle of the local drink, but I'm not a big spirit drinker, so over the years I've accumulated quite a lot. And then I've been selling uh, stuff. So I've sold uh, on Vinted, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and I did a garage sale and a tabletop sale. So let me run through where we've uh, got to. So. Actually, Vinted is proving to be the better one for me, but that's also perhaps because the clothes are what I started on to, I had so many of them that I had to just start shifting them. But to date, in the last, what, four or five weeks, I've sold 48 items and I've made around about 450 pounds. That's not bad, is it? considering these are unwanted things. I'm try you can't think about the fact that they're worth more than you're selling them for. Um, you have to, and all oh, that they still got their tags on them. You just have to think. You 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 can't take them with you. You've just got to get rid of as much as you can. And if you can make a few pence out of it, it's all going to help towards your travels. That's how I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm not let, getting upset when I'm having to sell a, a eighty pound dress or a hundred pound pair of boots for fifteen pounds because you just can't think like that. On eBay I've sold nine items and I've made about £90. But on eBay, um, I did actually, five of those are clothes that weren't selling on Vinted, so I did throw on eBay because of course now you don't have the fees. Um, and they did go, but they, you know, they didn't get very much for those. My biggest sale was my Royal Dalton tea set, which I got £75 for. Um, so... You know, I still need to put some more things on eBay, but it, honestly, it's so time consuming. You forever loading things up, and then you've got to package them up and post them. So every day I go down to the in post box and 
scan my things and post everything, just collect them throughout the day. But, um, you know, every little bit helps. Um, Facebook Marketplace, I've sold quite a bit on there, about 12 things I think, and made about £180. Um, like some things, like my food processors I got, you know, a reasonable amount for, I think I've got £25 for two of them. Um, but then like my Buddha statues from the garden, which was super heavy, um, I got £10 for. Um, but at the end of the day, if, if people want it, they want it, don't they? And if they don't, <laughs> you've just got to reduce the price until they do. And then on my garage sale, and I think I told you this, I made £220 on that. And the garage sale was brilliant because it did get rid of a lot of the big things. And last weekend I did a tabletop sale, so like an indoor car boot. And uh, I, I did get rid of a lot of things. So all the big lamps that were left and uh, some of the bigger ornaments that I had tried to sell in the garage sale went. And I made um, £60 there. Uh, you know, because I'd done the garage sale and I'd listed them and they hadn't gone, you know, I was taking a lower price for them. But, it, you know, it does get to that point where you think, well, these have to go. I can't keep carrying them back and forth in the car trying to sell them for a price that if people don't want to pay it, they're not going to pay it. And my opinion is anything that's left over, if I've got to put it in skips, that's going to cost me more in skips. So we'll just keep going. So I've made about a thousand pounds so far. I haven't even sold any big furniture yet, but uh, and I'm not expecting to get a lot for furniture. Um, but we just uh, we keep going. But it <clears throat> it's a very tiring process. Um, it's quite stressful at times because you just don't seem to have a minute to yourself. I try to say that every day I'm going to try and list at least five things on something whether it's eBay, Facebook or Vinted um, and either clear two bags of rubbish or fill two boxes because doing a little bit every day you know is means that you're getting somewhere so I set myself that target every day so that I have to do it um, even if it's 10 o'clock at night I, I just think just just do something um, is a little bit closer to the end goal of having this house completely empty. So I've still got quite a long way to go. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, but I'm just going to keep cracking on. And that in my mind, I'm trying to get most things out by the end of June. Because I know they say it will take... 12 to 16 weeks but if it goes quicker I can't you know sit here not doing anything I have to just get on with it otherwise I could end up with a few weeks left to do it all and that will just be super stressful and uh, I still obviously have to spend time dreaming of my travels and where I'm gonna go and as always my plans are always changing but I think uh, I'm, get, I'm getting a clearer idea of what I'm probably going to do. And my thoughts are, um, well, I'm, I'm going to Australia anyway in, in mid-August for two months. And then from there, I think I'll go to uh, Porto in Portugal for five weeks. And then to Madeira for Christmas with my brother and sister-in-law. And then I'm going to just come back for a few days to get the flight to Antigua and back. So I'll, I'll go there for two and a half to three months. And I, I've actually, um, there's some things that I want to take and leave in Antigua. So I started making up a case for that as well. Um, and I just leave them there. Um, so when I get back from Australia, like my fins and my life jacket and things, I'll just leave them in Antigua because that's where they've been for two years. I only brought them back this year because I needed them for Australia. And then I'll come back. And the reason I'm going to come back to the UK is because the flights are cheaper to do it that way and then fly again from here to Asia. Uh, it's crazy, isn't it? The, the flight costs just seem to be going up and up and up. Um, and then I, it'll be somewhere in Asia. So I'm aiming like in April I shall be in Asia somewhere. Maybe Kuala Lumpur. I found a really nice apartment 
in a really good area near the Petronas Towers and I uh, just want to do a bit more research about it because it looks like it's near the park um, but I want to make sure it's the right area but it was a very reasonably priced and it looked very nice, had good reviews so still looking on YouTube um, what else there is but if anyone knows of any really nice apartments in Kuala Lumpur that aren't going to break the bank for three months please let me know below so it's all very exciting times and I just want to update you where I am because uh, it's it's a completely moving process you think that, that you're getting there um, but you're not you still got lots to do but I think the excitement of it all is taking over now and it's giving me that boost to do it oh I still have a paramoto and a parachute to sell so if any of you are budding paramotorists and you're looking for a new engine hit me up thank you for watching let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks thank you bye